This alley behind Dalhousie Drive in Fort Richmond has been taped off by the police since morning. According to the police, an officer pulled a vehicle over around 12.40 a.m. The occupants of the vehicle attempted to flee and pinned the officer down. The officer in turn fired his gun, striking the man driving the vehicle. Atul Jaiswal, living in the vicinity, could hear some fighting and screaming last night. I think the fight was between police and the men. I'm not sure because uh, that very second when the person was screaming, I could see, a, I could hear the police voice. I was so afraid it was just next to my window, but I couldn't get up and see. And finally, when I got into my senses, then I woke up, I could hear ambulance, police, so many police and all. I could see police running here and there. Police said the man was transported to hospital in critical condition. He has since died from his injuries. Jaiswal says she heard sounds of shots fired. I heard, uh, you know, fire twice. Okay. One, twice, I think. Oh, so you heard, the sh you yes. heard two, sh two yeah. shots? Yeah, okay. I heard two shots also. Two, I'm not, I can't count it, but yes, I heard it. Another nearby resident, Asif Iqbal, said he saw police cars outside his house last night, but wasn't aware of exactly what had happened. We heard uh, some doorbell in our house, but we didn't open that. Because we are scared who was there, we didn't expect someone. At like uh, two, okay, so uh, a police was here, he was walking around here. I tried to say hi to him, but he didn't respond to me. A female passenger remains in police custody, police said. Police are not releasing any additional information while the watchdog investigates. The independent investigation unit has assumed responsibility. Zabina Ahmed, CBC News, Winnipeg.